All right, let's walk through how we can make a rubber stamp that we're gonna 3D print the handle and then laser cut the rubber bottom. Let's start with the handle. So I have a new bottle opened up here. Start by just making a sketch. I'm gonna choose one of these vertical planes. Doesn't really matter which one. Now I'm gonna start by kind of sketching out the basic size of my stamp. So I'm gonna go up here, pick a line. Now I want the bottom of my stamp to be 20 millimeters, so I'm gonna draw a line, and we're gonna do this by a revolution. So I'm gonna draw a line that's 10 millimeters, because I know I want it to be half of it. I'm gonna draw another line that does the height. So again, I'm starting from the center. I'm gonna make it about 30 millimeters tall. So I'll go up to 30. Finish that, and I'm gonna kind of make the lip down here go up about, I don't know, let's say three millimeters. So I'll start another line from this corner up three, come over maybe about, zoom in a little bit, come over maybe about to here, that seems reasonable, and end that. And now to make the rest of the handle, I'm gonna do it kinda like we did the vase, I'm gonna draw a spline, and just kinda freehand a nice smooth curve, that maybe kinda comes out like this and comes back in. So I'm gonna go up to sketch, go down to spline, pick the fit point surface, and I'm just gonna kinda, again, freehand click about where I think this I want this to be. Let's say we'll start here, I'll come in a little bit, kind of come out, come out a little farther, then curve back in to meet at the top. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna end this, because now I'm gonna go back, click on select. Um, I'm actually gonna grab the handles up here and make this so it's, pull it until it snaps to be vertical, or to be horizontal. That makes this thing completely kind of straight across over here coming out. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's gone to the bottom. I'm also gonna change this. I'm gonna take this line and drag this out a little bit to about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on this point and I'm gonna pull these so that they're also horizontal. And again, that's gonna make it so this comes down and kind of goes right tangent to it and it's a nice smooth transition. There's not a sharp point there. Let's zoom out and see how this looks. It looks pretty good. Again, you could freehand this whatever way you'd like. And maybe I'll move this in a little bit. It seems reasonable to me. Again, what we really want to control though was the width of this base. This is how big our stamp is going to be. So the base here is 10 because when it revolves, it's going to be double that size. And I made the height. Let's throw a dimension there so we can see what it is. I made the height 30. And that's controlling the size that my stamp is going to be. I don't really care what these things are out here. Because again, that's my, through, my uh, smooth freehand spline, uh, looks good. So I'll finish the sketch. I'm then going to create a revolve, pick my shape, pick a revolve axis right on the edge over here. Looks good. And there we have our stamp handle. Now you could also, if you want to make a cut down here, that is possible. So you can inset your rubber stamp into the bottom of this. I chose not to because when this gets 3D printed, if it if you have an indentation there, sometimes you don't get a nice flat surface and it's hard to glue uh, your rubber stamp to it. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and that's seems fine by me. The only last thing I might want to do is maybe throw a fillet on the top surface here just to make it a little bit cleaner. So I'll throw a fillet and kind of come down. Let's say uh, two looks good to me. And there's my stamp. And remember the last thing you want to do before you send it to me to be 3D printed, you're gonna go up to make, turn off, send a 3D print utility, click on your object. Again, your laptops might not have preview mesh stuck on, so they might just turn blue right away. I have preview mesh turned on so I can see the mesh that's gonna be made. Hit okay, and then you're gonna save it somewhere on your computer so that you can send it to me. Make sure you name it something with your name. If I can type. Let's see. Because when you send it to me to reprint it, I have to know whose is this I'm printing. I'm just gonna cancel this now because I'm not printing this. And there you have your handle. Now, the one thing we want to remember about our handle, let's go back to the first thing we made, was that the bottom of this is made so that the stamp is 20 millimeters. Now I'm going to jump into Inkscape. And I already have a logo I want to put on my stamp. So I want to make sure, so I'm going to make the rubber stamp, it's going to be laser etched out of a piece of rubber. I'm going to start by making a circle. I'm holding down control, remember, from the beginning of the year, so I can drag it so it's a full circle. Um, I have it a color here just so I can see it better. I'm going to go up and change. This might be in inches on your machine. If it is, just switch it to millimeters. 
and I want this to be a little bit smaller than the stamp I just made so I'm gonna make this a 19 by 19 circle so that's the size of my rubber stamp uh, now my image is a little bit too big so I can kind of actually also it's behind it so I'm gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to object I clicked on my image object raise to top now it's on top of it and what I'm gonna do now is I want to trace it I don't want to use the bitmap version I want to trace it and use the real version so I'll do path trace bitmap it's black and white so it shouldn't be a problem just hit okay pull off the traced version you got it here I'm gonna delete the original version move my shape on top of my rubber dot here I'm holding down control and shift to resize it so so it's still centered kind of get it about the size that I want kind of center it just about where I want it to be now there's two things that are important at this point one is that when you stamp something it gets inverted so unless you want to be the loser here and make your stamp the wrong way I'm gonna mirror this first so I'm gonna go up to here the horizontal mirror button and that mirrors it and now I'm gonna center it better so that when this gets printed or gets laser etched when I stamp with it it's gonna invert back and it's gonna be the correct uh, correct looking image the second thing I want to do is I want whatever is black here I want to actually be that's the ink I want to be stamped so I want this to be inked in whatever color it is right now the way our laser cutter works whatever is black is gonna get etched out and that's gonna be the negative space of our stamp so what I want to do is I want to rem from my circle here I want kind of my circle to be everything that's in magenta is gonna be inked or is gonna be not inked it's gonna be etched away and not be inked and anything that's white is going to be not etched or be raised when this is done and be inked. So I want to subtract my image from my background circle. And since I trace this, this is a vector. My circle is also a vector. I'm just going to shift select both of them. I'm going to go up to path, difference, and it's going to delete my image from my circle background. It kind of makes it white. Now there's really only one image here. And now what's going to happen is when I laser etch this, it's going to, wherever it sees magenta, it's going to etch away. So it's going to lower that surface. Wherever it's white, it's going to do nothing and keep that surface there. So when it's done, all the magenta parts will be lower than the white parts. And when I hit it on the stamp and push it down, only the white parts will actually be inked. And only the white parts in this image will uh, show up when it's stamped. And all I have to do is save this file and send and upload it with your STL file from the 3D printer. I can cut them for you and then you'll have a nice little stamp with a rubber... Um, stamp on the bottom of it that we can glue together and you'll have something you can stamp with.